So, the problem with a fraction of a fraction, and then John is working, and on Monday he completes half of his work. So, here's his total work, and on Monday, half of it's done. So, I'll color this part right here, that means it's done. What's left? Well, he still has half of his work left. But on Tuesday, it says he completes a fourth of the remaining work. Well, if there's only half left, he completed a fourth of that. So, I'm going to cut it into fourths. And I'll shade the next step in. Uh, that's the next day. He completes a fourth of that. So I want to know what fraction of the work remains to be done. Well, there's still this piece, these three pieces right here. And what you can think of is, since this is in terms of all the work he did, we can extend these pieces and think how they would fit into the whole pie. So now we see these pieces that haven't been done, these one, two, three pieces out of all the pieces here, and there are eight of them, so he still has to do three-eighths of his work, which is choice D. In this problem right here, they want us to know um, how do you convert square feet to yards, and we know that one foot has to equal three yards, and they want to know, well, what is the area of bedroom B. And I think the question got cut off here, but what they're saying is what's the exact area of this bedroom. So if one foot equals three yards, we're dealing with square feet. So that means it's one foot by one foot. So it's on um, problem we're trying to find the area of this bedroom bedroom B and we're told that one inch and I, we have to assume that these are the inches right here um, equals two feet so one inch equals two feet that's our scale but notice we're looking at area so we have square inches which also means that it's a one inch by one inch square and each direction is two feet, two feet, and two feet. So that means this square inch equals four square feet. So this bedroom is six inches this way and four full inches that way. So it's six by four, which equals 24 of these squares. And then there are these squares down here are kind of cut off halfway. So this is a multiple choice problem. Let's just estimate as if they were cut in half. There are six half squares. So that is 24 plus 3 more full squares gives us 27 squares in all. And each square represents 4 square feet, so that's 27 times 4, or 108 square feet. They want to know what this is in yards. So going back to that, 1 yard gives me 3 feet. So what if I had a square yard? It would be 1 yard this way, and 1 yard that way. And each direction is three feet, so it'd be nine feet of area. So now, if I know how many feet I have, and I want to convert it back to yards, if I had nine feet, I would just divide by nine, and that would tell me one yard. Excuse me, nine square feet, I would divide by nine, and that would tell me the square yardage. So here, I'm going to take 108 and divide it by nine to find the actual yardage that's filling up bedroom number two. And if we do that, we get 12 because 9 times 12 is 108.